and welcome to the Everett Silver Show. We have exciting guests as we do every week. And so I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm always bringing it to you. So thanks so much for staying in tune with us. Stay connected. You're watching the Everett Silver Show. You know, I don't know if we, 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 we always get in trouble, but you got to help us out. Let's talk about eating healthy. I will try. Well, you know, <laughs> for starters, skip the processed foods and just make sure you work fresh fruits and veggies into every meal. You know, the average person doesn't get enough, especially fruit. And no matter where you are, you should always have something healthy, ready, and with you at all times because when hunger strikes and you have nothing handy, that's when you make bad decisions. So stock your pantry and your bag with simple, healthy snacks that are just easy to store and grab at any time. Things like nuts and raisins are great. I like them because they can withstand my bottomless pit, otherwise known as my purse. You know, banana can get destroyed in there. So I'm a huge California Raisin fan. They're super delicious. They're 100% all natural, no added sugar or juice, just dried grapes sweetened only by the California sun. And just a quarter cup will give you a full serving of fruit, 7% your daily value of fiber, and 6% potassium, so they'll fuel you throughout the day. And they're amazing on so many dishes too, over chicken, salads, desserts, and just adding that perfect texture and sweetness. We made these no-bake oatmeal raisin bites that I love from a recipe on their site. They have so many great recipes there. Check them out at calraisins.org. And another excellent snack, almonds. They're super portable. They're delicious. I love Blue Diamond Whole Natural Almonds. They're so good for you. Just a handful, 28, have five grams of plant protein, an excellent source of antioxidant, vitamin E, and magnesium, which makes them amazing for your skin, your hair, your nails. Uh, they're actually a super food source of biotin, which is a key ingredient to keeping your hair thick, shiny, and strong. And they even promote restfulness. So, you know, helping you sleep more soundly. Amazing. So almonds and raisins are a no-brainer. Now, now, talk about, um, Joanne, uh, what about getting, I guess, our veggies in? Yeah, yeah, it can be hard, but, you know, it's all about making smart swaps with your food choices, especially veggies and green giant has a whole line dedicated to quick and easy carb swaps uh, they're called green giant veggie swap ins i just love these because they're great for replacing you know things like rice and pasta the veggie spiral zucchini has 90 percent fewer calories than traditional pasta and these have no added sauces or seasoning and they're gluten-free here we've made a spaghetti with, with a z caprizi uh, we swapped the pasta with the spiral zucchini and just added a little balsamic garlic tomatoes mozzarella and fresh basil absolutely delicious you don't even notice a difference uh, and here we also made a cauliflower fried rice swap the rice with the veggies cauliflower medley which has 85 percent fewer calories than white rice just added a little garlic ginger soy sauce and egg and it tastes just like it came from your favorite chinese restaurant so really really smart stuff and also if you have a hard time getting your kids to eat their veggies like i do they have new uh, veggie fries and rings which are also fab and just pop them right in the oven or the air fryer which makes it even easier and i love that you can just store all these things too right in your freezer and you can just take them out when you need them because again it's all about having that go-to smarter option at the ready you know when you need it and you can find all of these in the freezer aisle and just check out greengiant.com for some really great recipes and Joan, I tell you, we always can just count on you to tell us what we need to do. And also, folks, you can check out Life Minute TV, founder and editor-in-chief, Joanne Butler. He's a lifestyle expert. He's been helping us. Joanne, always a pleasure to have you. Oh, thanks so much for having me. Always a pleasure to talk to you, too, Everett. Happy yeah. New Year. Happy well, guys, uh, thanks so much for tuning into the Everett Silver Show. Stay tuned. Don't turn that dial because we got more exciting guests right here on the Everett Silver Show. Be back in a moment. Good morning, Everett. Morning, Everett. Pat, Pat, uh, Tom, thanks you guys for doing the show today, man. I'm telling you, it's exciting to have you guys. The folks, my special guest is with us on the front lines with some of the world's most experienced firefighters, Cal Fire, the new Discovery series uh, that takes viewers uh, on the battlefield, or the battlefront, rather, of California's most destructive wildfires. And uh, I have the uh, privilege of talking with executive producer, Pat McGee. Also, uh, Cal Fire Chief Tom Porter uh, is with us. And and I tell you, I start. I start with you, Pat. Uh, man, it, it's um, you. You've been telling stories, man, and been doing stuff for a long time. Talk about Cal Fire. Ah, uh, thank you. Good question. Um, been doing this 20 years, and uh, there's nothing like this. You know, I mean, having the opportunity to to document and tell Cal Fire's story is 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 an honor. I mean, these guys, these men and women, are heroes. I mean, they they sacrifice everything. They sacrifice. Um, their lives to protect us, to protect our property. So um, when people watch this, they're gonna get an idea of what it takes to be a firefighter. 
and it's it's eye opening and it's it's jaw dropping. Ted, I got to tell you, man, I'm always astounded of somebody that would take the time to show folks. So you mentioned something that was critical: what people do to risk their lives, and uh, uh, because we know some things are just by nature, and this is what it is. And you took the time to just say, "Look, I want to create this." Uh, again, you, you know, you, you've been doing this for twenty something years. Is that what you're trying to accomplish? And I'm telling you, man, I have got to. Uh, I mean, it's nail biting, teeth gritting. How do you make it, man? People are risking their lives. You know, I, I I'm one of many filmmakers and and uh, producers on this, but I you know I'm 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 grateful to be part of a really talented team that gets to tell this story, and we're honored to tell the story. And and it's it's all about the access, getting the access, and then getting the trust, winning and earning the trust of Cal Fire. And right. when you're on the front lines with them, you're going to see what happens, what really happens, and it's right. about dedication and sacrifice. I mean, this week's right. episode, we're going to watch. Uh, a homeowner have to decide in a split second whether to stay or leave and those are the decisions that that split second decision that's going to affect the the, the firefighter the crew everyone and yeah. um in all my years of doing this it, there's we don't know how this story is going to end we don't know what's going to happen two seconds so yeah. um yeah it's something special yeah you know tom uh i, I mean i saw some of the clips man and i'm telling you and the numbers are catastrophic. I mean, it's just astounding. Four point million acres, ninety four homes destroyed. And 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 Tom, I heard some, you actually say a line in in there. And one of the lines that jumps out at me, you say, "Look," and it's not just a line. This is real life. You are saying at the end of the day, I have a crew, and I want to make sure everybody returns home. How difficult is that? Yeah, every single day in California is is a fire day somewhere. Um, and we have uh, Cal Fire has crews across the entire state. So at any point in time, uh, there is a life-threatening uh, event that that we are a part of. And it, my by by far the most scary thing in this job is knowing that we have people going into harm's way any minute, any day of the year, and so training experience and really uh developing a trust of our company officers all the way down to the fire engine level uh is absolutely critical and that is something that we utilized in our work with uh, discovery and uh, pat's teams to really develop that same esprit de corps and, and understanding of each other to protect lives and property as well as the crew and our firefighters. Uh, Tom, I saw, uh, man, like I said, one of the episodes, man, and it, it had gotten so close, man, that you guys had to get rid of some of them. I don't want to tell it all, man. Get back to one of the trucks because it was the fire was spreading. So, and sometimes with your experience, though, even in that, have you seen anything different that catches you still off guard? Uh, absolutely, Everett. I mean, yeah. every single yeah. year, every single incident has its own uh, nuance and, and, and change that, that you have to be aware of. And there's a lot that experience can uh, help us with. We've seen a lot, each and every one of us. But the years and seasons we've been having are starting to show us new things that we have never seen before. Uh, right. And where... 20 years ago, a career fire was 50,000 acres. Now we're having 50,000 acres for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, and a career fire is approaching uh, several hundred thousand acres, maybe a million acres. Well, I got to say, Pat, thank you so much for producing such, uh, uh, continue uh, doing the work that you're doing. Tom, I know, uh, man, you know, people don't understand. I, I heard you also say out of maybe 30 something days, I think you may have said 33, 35 days, you may have gone home three days and people don't understand your sacrifices. And folks, you got to make sure you tune in to Cal Fire to air Sundays at 10 p.m. Discovery Channel, the series, again, is it premiered on January the 3rd, but folks, catch it. It is something to see. You guys, any last minute thing you want to say, and I'm glad you had on the show. Thank you for having us. It's wonderful to be a part of your show. Thank you so much. More guests coming your way. Don't touch that dial. I'll be back in a moment. Hey, Everett, how are you? 
Doing good, Teddy. Glad to have you on the show. And folks, my guest is with us. It's 2021, and with that comes a newfound sense of optimism and hope for, you know, what we all want to achieve in the months to come. And, uh, you know, with the new start of New Year's resolution and action, uh, it's more important, I guess, to focus on your physical and mental health, you know, well-being, and a part of making, I guess, time in the gym. And with a fresh, uh, newly official underway, Planet Fitness Head of Health and Fitness Excellence, Teddy Savage is with us. Teddy, welcome to the show. There's always, uh, I guess, uh, been focused on the New Year's resolution, man. Uh, you know, how do we get this thing jumped off with meaning? What do we need to do? Absolutely. Everton, thanks for having me. I want everyone to know, even though the, the COVID-19 pandemic is still affecting us all, the New Year gives us all the opportunity to hit the reset button and refocus on our overall wellness. That's both physical and mental because both are equally important. As a matter of fact, Planet Fitness wanted to know how everybody felt about their New Year resolutions heading into 2021. And what we found, Everett, is that 84% of all Americans who made resolutions did so with health and fitness as their number one priority. 91% of all resolutions that were made were tied to fitness in some way. But my favorite one is that 51% of those who made resolutions said that they're not going to be hard on themselves this year because it gives us the leeway and the permission to go into this year with mental clarity, and that's extremely important. Man, that's wild, Teddy. That's good, though. That's good information. Now, what can we you tell us about the state of the country's health-wise right now? Right, and even before COVID-19 hit, we were in the midst of a national health crisis where the CDC says that 70% of all adult-aged Americans were either considered to be overweight or obese. Now, physical activity has been shown to have positive impacts, right? The CDC recommends that we all get 150 minutes of moderate to rigorous activity in a week's time. But unfortunately, only 23% of us actually hit that goal. But here's the thing. The solution is pretty simple. We just got to get up and get moving. Just 30 minutes a day of exercise on a continued basis, Everett, can have profound impacts on our overall wellness. Man, that's, and that's not a lot of time either, Teddy. I didn't know it. What practical health and fitness tips can you implement, you know, who may have stepped away from exercising while and then simply are looking, I guess, to start new on their own fitness journey? Absolutely. So I want everyone to know it's great to make those lofty goals, right? But I also want you to enjoy the, the journey and not just focus on the destination. I want you to celebrate doing the small things as we go towards our wellness journey. I'm talking about waking up in the morning and just getting your body limbered up by doing some dynamic stretches, jumping jacks, high knees, bending reaches, because when you do so, you're actually lubricating your joints to offset injury, but you're triggering a release of serotonin, dopamine and endorphins from your brain that actually improves your mental mood and clarity and it improves your cognitive function these things are extremely important as you take one step at a time to making your mighty minutes count and then uh teddy what type of efforts has planet fitness put in place for everyone returning to the gym because you know still quite a few are yet you know they're hesitant about going back yeah, absolutely. So the health and safety of our members has always been our number one priority. But we understand that we had to launch even more safety protocols to make sure everyone was safe. More and guests coming your way. Don't touch that dial. I'll be back in a moment. Hello, Everett. It's Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Thanks for doing the show. Absolutely. So glad to be with you. Well, I tell you, you're doing something great out there. Opening day of the CES show there in uh you know, you cover this virtual live out there, but folks, I have my special guest with us, <clears throat> and I tell you, uh, Andrea, she's the celebrity, and I got to get her to tell us what's going on there because uh, you have some of the latest top trends uh, there. So, uh, tell us where do we start? I do. You know, CES is always where we get that first look at everything we're going to be seeing in the coming year. And we do have some trends. And the big news is that the trend this year is based on what we were doing last year which is turning our homes into offices and schools and movie theaters. So you've got uh, companies like LG, they get it. They know we've been spending a whole lot of time in the kitchen. Their InstaView door in door side by side fridges got some cool new upgrades. They've added UV nanotechnology in the water dispenser nozzle to help decrease bacteria. And they increase the size of the InstaView window, knock twice to see inside, then grab what you want using the door in door feature without opening the whole fridge. And there's also a craft ice maker with slow melting 
round ice spheres. Now, LG also unveiled new laptops. The LG Gram 17 is a stylish new design. It's got all day battery life, productivity boosting 16 to 10 screen aspect ratio. The 17 inch screen shows vivid colors and sharp, clear images, whether you're working on spreadsheets, schoolwork or streaming a video. And since we are relying so much more on our phones these days, well, the innovative form factor of the LG Wing is just the ideal phone for multitasking, for gaming, for viewing content. You slide the display into swivel mode. It rotates 90 degrees to reveal a second smaller screen. So you get more screen real estate when you need it. Check your email on one screen while following a map on the other. It's got impressive camera features and a gimbal that holds your video steady when you're shooting on the go. And then Adria, uh, what areas are you showing growth? Well, health and wellness, as you can imagine, uh, is growing right now. Um, and especially during this pandemic, you know, patients are all being urged not to skip medical care. United Healthcare is using technology to help make it more convenient for members to access care. They've expanded access to virtual care with local physicians, plus a new virtual primary care service lets eligible members in select states use a smartphone or computer to find and use a primary care physician with little or no cost sharing. And then, you know, parents, they see that their kids are going to school online for the most part, and they're in front of a screen all day. So they'd like to engage their kids away from the screen. We're seeing products like the Tony Box, a screen-free digital listening experience designed to foster creativity and imagination in younger kids. It's a soft, squeezable five-inch speaker cube that works with Tony's figurines containing hours of content from classic storybook tales. And I tell you, Andrea, that, that is just so amazing what you're showing. And then any last minute things, we got to find out where we go for further information as well. Yeah, head over to dailylounge.com for more information. Well, again, I want to thank uh, award-winning news and technology journalist uh, Andrea Smith. I tell you, you know, and then, too, just to bring it to you, because folks didn't travel this year, so thanks for the virtual experience. And, uh, Andrea, thanks for the show. Thanks so much for having me. More guests coming your way. Don't touch that dial. I'll be back in a moment. Hi, Everett. Hi, Francis. How are you doing? Thanks for doing the show today. Hey, thanks so much for having me. You're so welcome. Well, folks, my guest is with us. Uh, it's uh, almost a new year, and so it's a perfect time to, uh, I guess, commit to eating better and giving your body the nutrients uh, it needs. And also joining us is someone uh, who wrote the book on it, nutrition and wellness expert and author of Smoothies and Juices. Prevention uh, Healing Kitchen, Francis. Largeman Roth is with us, and so again, good morning to you, Francis. So, uh, you're the expert. So, why are the smoothie is so special for, I guess, optimizing our health? Well, you know, all year round, we should be eating right, getting the foods and nutrients that we need, and I, I really feel like the easiest way to do that is with a smoothie because they're just so quick, and you can really easily incorporate them into your healthy lifestyle. And it's a great thing to add if you're not doing it already in the new year in 2021. And my secret ingredient is palm, wonderful, 100% pomegranate juice. In each of these 16 ounce bottles, there are four pomegranates. And it's not just the pomegranate juice, it's the, the skin, the pith, and the arils, which are the, the seeds inside. And so that whole fruit is in there and it really optimizes the antioxidant potential that you can get out of the pomegranate. And actually in the pomegranate juice are four times the antioxidants on average of green tea. So it's really a special ingredient and it really can help us power through the day with antioxidants and fight those free radicals that over time can do damage to our bodies. Wow, Francis, that, that sounds great. And it looks like uh, you have some wonderful ideas set up there. And uh, what do you have that I get to share with us today? Yeah, so this is the pomegranate berry smoothie from my book, Smoothies and Juices. It couldn't be any easier than this. It's the Palm Wonderful juice, yogurt, and frozen raspberries. If you want to turn it into a fun smoothie bowl, just add a banana to it to thicken it up. And then top it with some really fun ingredients, the, the chopped pistachios for plant protein, um, we've got the arils on top, and then this one here is the Beat'em Bust'em Smoothie, and this is great for before or after a workout to refuel. 
And in addition to the palm juice, it also has beets in it, which are a fantastic ingredient, and also chia seeds, wonderful for athletes. It also helps to thicken up the smoothie. And then this one over here on the end is the palm cacao breakfast smoothie. And uh, you know, you might be wondering what is so special about this one. It actually has a whole serving of veggies in it. You can use either frozen cauliflower or zucchini and a great way to really get organized so that your smoothie making is really super easy in the morning. You know, we're all waking, waking up and, and we're a little groggy in the morning is to make a smoothie pack. So you take a container or a freezer bag and add in all of your dry ingredients already prepped. And so we've got the banana, the pistachios in there. And then when you're ready to blend it up, you just pour it into your smoothie, add your pomegranate juice, blend it, and you're ready to go. Well, I tell you, that sounds so wonderful. Any last minute things, uh, Francis, that we need to know? Well, if you're looking for these recipes, come to my website, which is francislargemanroth.com. And if you want to learn more about Palm Wonderful, follow them on social at Palm Wonderful. Such a wonderful privilege to have a uh, nutrition and wellness expert and author of Smoothies and Juices, Prevention Healing Kitchen, Francis Largeman Roth. FrancisLargemanRoth.com is where you want to go for further information. Thanks so much, Francis. What a pleasure to have you. Happy uh, New Year coming Thank up. you, and Happy New Year to you as well. Hey, you guys. Kendra here. Welcome to another edition of Beauty and Inspirations right here on the Everett Silver Show, where it is our goal to inspire you from the inside out. Thanks so much for tuning in. Let's get started. I'm going to show you some spring and summer fragrances I think will be great additions to your collection. First up, we're going to the House of Mugler. This is Angel Au Corsier 2019 edition. This is Tropical goodness you have mango you have grapefruit you have pralines and you have patchouli you guys this is just so great if you want to feel like you're on a tropical island check out angel au Corsier 2019 edition i also have a sample of au Corsier 2020 edition this is fig nectar and magnolia as well as patchouli and praline again you're going to feel like you're on a tropical island with these fragrances so check out the house of mugler angel au Corsier 2019 and 2020 edition. Next up, I have a fragrance for those of you who like wood notes. This is Swiss Arabian's Anara Oud. This is great. This is notes of peach and raspberry, oud, vanilla. This is so wonderful. This reminds me of a nice vanilla sundae with fruit on top. So check out Swiss Arabian's Anara Oud. So the next two fragrances I'm going to show you come from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. First up, I have Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense. This is for you ladies out here who like crisp, fresh fragrances. If you like apple and lemon, this is right up your alley. This is apple, this is lemon, this is wood notes. This is real, real good, very refreshing. For you gentlemen, I haven't forgotten about you. I have Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Pour Ohm. Again, you've got lemon, apple, and wood notes. I think this will make for great refreshing fragrance to add to your collection, gentlemen. So check out Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Pour Ohm, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense. And the last fragrance that I'm going to show you is a rose scented fragrance. You know, for the springtime, I definitely think about roses and all kinds of blossoms of flowers. I have for you Parfums de Marly Delina. Delina is a delicate yet complex fragrance. You've got lots of notes, Turkish rose, vanilla, bergamot, rhubarb. This is so good, you guys. You can wear this to many occasions, many events. Let's say for weddings, this is perfect for weddings and brunches, teas, very delicate but complex scent. If you're looking for a signature rose scent, why not check out Parfums de Marly Delina. This is it, you guys. My spring and summer fragrance is coming to you. And until the next time, you keep it beautiful and I'll keep inspiring. God bless. <music>
Everyone 